Now, I showed you one way in a previous clip on how to make this kind of gallery fitting. Simple rim with a ledge here. I'm going to show you the opposite way now. To put a ledge here and make a simple lid. Let me show you how I do it. Now this storage jar begins as a cylinder. But rather than leave a really thick piece at the top and split it to make a gallery or ledge, I'm going to do something else. But I've got to get my cylinder finished first. I want to make sure the rim stays level here, but not thick. I'm going to rib the wall of this pot because that's the way I, I like my storage jars. I like them fairly smooth so I can do decorative things on the outside of them when I'm glazing. Now I'm going to show you the hand configuration I use to roll this rim inward. First thing I'm going to do is wet this area out here on the outside wall, a couple inches down. I'm going to do the same on the inside. Now wet my left hand and grasp the rim, kind of pressing the rim against my palm and bending my fingers. I'm going to use this thumb and this knuckle on the outside wall and I'm going to roll the rim inward. Now the wheel has to be going pretty quickly. When I get it to be level, I move my fingers to this configuration. You want to make sure three fingers at least stay up underneath. You don't want to press this down and in against the wall. You want to make sure that you support it. Put a finger here and a finger outside and press and squeeze the wall together between your knuckle and the tip of your finger. Make sure that this inside edge isn't too sharp. So I'll sponge that a little bit, and soften it, sponge the rim, and finish the outside. And I usually put a sort of shadow under there. Clean everything up. and take a measurement. Now one thing about lids, and this is four and three quarters, and that's not great for me and I'll tell you why. Whenever I make storage jars, I make a group of them. I don't ever make one at a time. I make the openings in half inch increments. Three and a half, four, four and a half, five. That means I can keep the extra lids that I make because when I make a batch of storage jars I usually make two or three extra lids and I keep them. They get bisque fired and they get put in a box. Who knows, in six months I need a lid for a pot and I have lots of them. So I'm compressing this in. Actually it got a little wider so let me pull it out to five inches. There we go. So I'm going to get my storage jar from the wheel head, set it aside, put a lump of clay on the wheel, and make a lid. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this lump of clay centered. Of course it's far too much for one lid, but I'll make several lids from one lump of clay. Again, Throwing off of a hump, I get a doorknob, and the only way I can figure out how big this should be is guessing at it. I know that sounds strange, but there's no way to measure it. Keep it rather small below here. There's my doorknob. I'm going to move my thumb about half an inch off center. Push down and squeeze the clay between my fingertip and my thumb. The further I push, the more clay I can pull out. 
going to take a little bit of this knob away because I don't want it to be too large. Just big enough so fingertip can get around it. I'm actually making this rim out here reasonably sturdy because again it's going to bang against the pot as it's lifted up and put back. I'm going to measure exactly five inches. That looks pretty good. Now this storage jar, I've used two and a half pounds of clay. And it's just an average storage jar that someone might put sugar in, in their kitchen. I'm going to go under here and cut a groove. And this time I can get away with pulling my wire through it because it's really small under there. Now when this pot's leather hard and the lid is the same, I'm going to put it on a chuck and curve this backside and then I'm going to cut a hole right through the center down into the knob so the wall thickness of the knob becomes thinner. Now I wouldn't normally do this but I want you to see There you are, a rather simple storage jar. Thanks for watching.